Hey everyone, I am home from Nashville and you guys, today is weigh-in day because I've been four days without a scale and you guys have been seeing what we've been eating. So you guys come back and we'll share. Look at him, he's got a cute little Nashville, Tennessee. We're home. She's home. Okay, let's do this. Did you put a new one over here? Oh uh, yes, we're all set. We're all set. We had a full plane back all the way through really? Utah. Yeah, both planes. We're totally full. But we had a good flight. And I had a wonderful time at the PhD meeting everybody. It was so fun. <gasps> 1.2! Woo! Man, I'm excited. No kidding. 1.2. Mm-hmm. My body's responding well to bacon. Responding well to bacon. I gotta make some more. Yes, you do. Matter of fact, you should do that right after we have coffee. Yeah, well, because it takes a while to make it. 89. Wow. Look at baby. that. That's a point six. Wow. So 102 and 89. She had, she had fat coffee with me last night. Um, 89. 1.2. Yes, you guys. I came home and had a cup of uh, a delicious decaf Arbuckle's coffee and a tablespoon of butter in my coffee. And a two, one and a half slices of bacon. 92. 92 and point, oh, I mean, oh, point six, right? Mm -hmm. I think you're in. Uh, I might actually be in something today. Yeah. Wow, I'm in a 4.1. You are in a moderate level of GKI ketosis. Wow, that's nice, huh? Yes. I mean, Paula and I ate, Paula and I ate clean the entire time. And the food that we had um, at the VIP dinner, um, Nisha worked very, very closely to make sure they were 100% clean keto. Yes. 11.07. You are in a low level of wow. GKI ketosis, Harry. Mm -hmm. 92 and 0 0.6. He's an 8.5, you guys. Wow. We both did well. We did well. Okay, you guys. See you in the next segment. Good morning, good morning. Welcome all you new folks. Welcome back everybody to Loving It on Keto. I am home from Nashville from the PhD Summit, the Proper Human Diet Summit, and I had a blast. I had a wonderful time. I met new friends. You guys, thank you so much for coming up to me, introducing yourselves. It was wonderful to finally get some faces with your names and everything else. That was absolutely wonderful. The speakers were fantastic and I have learned some things that I'm gonna incorporate in October. So you guys stay tuned for that. But most of all, you guys saw what I had to eat. Now, I had at the VIP dinner, I had a hunk of delicious barbecued brisket I had barbecue sauce all over that. I had a big old spoonful of um, coleslaw, and it was a sweet and tangy coleslaw too. I had a scoop of Brussels sprouts with bacon all over it. I even had not one but two lemon curd tarts. I didn't eat the crust because I was told that it was almond flour. Nisha talked about what we were being served for dinner, shared with us they were the recipes, they were keto, they were clean ingredients, and said that there were almond um, in the um, crust. So I chose not to eat that. But you guys, I had chicken wings. I had good, healthy food. We went to the uh, Pancake Pantry, which is famous there. And I had a huge T-bone steak and three poached eggs and lots of coffee and let and I did not think about nor did I get on a scale the entire time I was there 
flew, um, did the whole thing. So I'm really excited to share with you guys the knowledge that I gleaned as well as today share with you my weight because you guys, everything that you eat or drink the day before, sometimes two days prior, flying, altitude changes, a uh, water weight retention, um, walking, doing things, the time change, right? Two hours ahead, getting up two hours earlier, and I am not that morning person. No, I am not. I took my mojo with not me. Not like me. So did Paula. I'm we the both... happy one. Yes. No, no, no. You don't talk to Harry. You don't look, you try not to make eye contact with Harry for the first hour. He's got to have his coffee. But we really had a ball. Everybody there was happy. You know, um, it was wonderful. It truly was Paula great. Paula seemed like she had a good time. She had a great time too. Oh, we're both Jabberwockies, man. We talked, we shared family photos, we got to really know one another, and we just had a great time. And we're both pretty uh, easygoing folks, so it was like, let's just go up the road, let's go do this, let's go do that, and we're both, yeah, sure, let's go check it out. If we get to do it, we can do it. If not, we'll do something else. And we were walking up Broadway, and I saw a sign for the Fritz Museum, and or the first museum, I don't know how to say it, F-R-I-S-T, Frist Museum, and I said, let's go see what's there. Walked in, I, I didn't even know, because it was Sunday, if they'd even be open, right? And it was getting late, it was about 4.30, 5 o'clock, and they were open till 6 or 6.30, I was surprised. Walked in, you know, asked him how much it cost, because there were no prices or anything. And he said, well, it's normally, I believe it was $16 or $18. And I said, well, do you have senior citizen discount? He says, no, but you know what? It's late at Sunday, 10 bucks. We got to see a, a museum, a, a traveling exhibition that's traveling globally for 10 bucks. So, then after we were done, we were trying to find the stop for the uh, hop on and off trolley that you can pay for, and we, we missed it. So we found a different trolley that was the uh, Music Row uh, trolley, all about um, the music industry and all of that. Uh, so we hopped in an Uber, paid eight bucks to get us down there in time, and we were like the last two people on, but it was a wonderful experience. Two hours on the trolley, Janice, who was up front, sang the songs, had a beautiful voice. She was singing all kinds of songs. And it's not just country western, R&B, blues, you know, rock and roll. There are so many people that got their start, including Jimi Hendrix, you guys. Yes, indeed. And if, you're down, in, if you're down in Nashville and Tim McGraw's in town, you may hear him singing. If you hear Jolene, it could be Dolly Parton. So, you know, there's all kinds of things. Now, yes, Broadway has a lot of bars. It has also fabulous restaurants. Every single place there that was not just a straight boot shop or dress clothing store had live bands. And every single floor, if it was a three-story building, had a different band, live band, on every single floor. No cover charges. And if you are opposed to going into a bar-like environment, you can stand outside because all the windows, where the stages are, where the band plays, are right there. And they'll turn around and sing to the people outside that bar. So we had a blast and we went in. I'm looking for a pair of red boots. Yes, I am. And you guys, I wore my boots. I have about six pair of cowboy boots. They're beautiful. And I'm on the lookout for a pair of red ones. When I saw the red fringe ones in the window, I went in to see. You guys, they wanted $1,000 for those That's boots. why I said, no, you can't have them. And I'm telling you, all the corral boots that were there, I probably have tried on those boots at one time or another. And they were at least $100 above what I paid for my boots down here at the boot barn or at Cowtown or in Tombstone even. So I just, I see those boots. I'm going to be on the lookout for them if I can ever find them on sale. They may be mine one day, but I was very good at not buying any boots. For one thing, I didn't see anything that I didn't already have that I love in a color that I don't already have, which is a good thing for Harry. Yes, it is. But I did like the red boots, but not for a green. They were beautiful. They were absolutely beautiful. If you, if you could have got them for and like four, if they were Tommy, bucks. Tommy Llamas, 
I can see them being a thousand dollars, but they weren't. Well, they were Old Gringo, which is a great brand, and I really love it. But they need to get the price down. Well, down there just you're gonna pay premium bit. there. Of man. course you are. You gotta and go like were, the Cowtown or something. Yeah, like that there out were there. hat shops. There were ha haberdasheries. There were all kinds of stores there, and all kinds of restaurants there. And like, if you didn't want to be in the bar environment, you could have gone to the second story, right? Depending on what kind of music you like. They may have been playing country western down below. They may have been playing rhythm and blues in the middle and they may have been playing rock and roll, R and B. They may have Where been Where was playing the classical? In the museum. <laughs> anyway, actually there no, that was uh, my and music. there are that. several other things to do. And yes, it looked like, you know, we wanted to see it. You hear about it, you want to see it. You want to see all the things when you're there, at least we did. So I wish we had more time because I would have loved to gone out and toured the, some of the distilleries. I would have loved to have done a river boat ride. They actually have a working um, oh, really? river boat with paddle wheel river boat. They have smaller boats. They have all kinds of tours and things that you well, can do Well, hopefully you get there. back, get that way in Arvita. Yes. Because I'd like so to stay for about a couple there weeks. There is more to do than just Broadway. Yes, there are, but we had one day. And uh, so we just did what we wanted to do and we had a ball doing it. So, yes, we did. And I only came home with three t-shirts. The one my dear husband has on. Come over here, show your t-shirt. I bought him one from Nashville. Yes, he yep. did with his little guitars. Isn't pretty? Did I already spill something on it? Nope. And then I bought See? a t-shirt for me and a t-shirt for Harry from the PhD Summit. Yes, I did. I was pretty... Oh, yeah, I got the... What does it say? Yours says beef, butter, bacon, and eggs. Oh, that's the one that, like, Rachel had on. Yes, And then you is. got the one... Uh, that uh, Joe had on. <laughs> Joe had on, uh, yeah. Mine's in burgundy yeah. and yours is in a darker blue. So, right. yes, I did. Yes, I did. There was one there I loved and I couldn't find it anywhere. And... Well, um, let me get it back over here. I can't even remember the saying that was about chickens. Anyway, uh, oh, oh, nope, don't remember it. Went out my head. Whoop. Anyway, you guys, some of you guys said, "Poor Harry, all he got to eat was hamburgers." I prepped, <laughs> I prepped him hard-boiled eggs. I prepped him steak. I prepped him hamburger. I made three pounds of bacon. Uh, there was um, cheese in there. There was yogurt in there. He could have had all those things, y'all, but just because minute, he decided. I got, I got to say something here. You got to understand. Um, I love hamburgers. When I was in the service, all I would eat was hamburgers. And you know the weird thing about it was, like I wrote one lady today about this, was that um, for some reason I had muscles and I was very thin and I had the stomach and all that stuff. And it, I didn't really do a whole lot of working out, but my body, for some reason, loved that stuff. Well, you had a 28 inch waist. You know, well, yeah. I mean, I mean, so I was carnivore before carnivore was... Right even really known that much right. you know and I was definitely keto and nobody was doing keto too bad I didn't continue that on right you know? anyway I just wanted to share that because now we have food we need to eat oh he did eat some eggs because there yes. were eight in here two four five he had some eggs let me see the steak yeah as long as there's hamburgers in there, there's that's what two I'm steaks eat. so he did have a steak but you guys there's food all the way in through here so oh, yeah. I could have ate all kinds of stuff. He could have had all kinds of stuff, including this leftovers that he didn't eat. Cheese. So, he has all kinds of cheeses and, down there. I didn't eat that. shake. And, I like maybe one yeah. type of slices of cheese. That was really nice. So I I cooked for him. He just chose not to eat that. That's because that I ate what fun. I wanted. And I ate what I wanted too. Yes, we did. You know, guys. Um, you know what's really have, good? You know what's really good? Hamburger with butter in it. Of course you it just is. make a big bowl of hamburger and you put a bunch of butter in. Oh and salt my and pepper. gosh, that's good. Harry and I have always traveled with food in a cooler, and we've always gotten either a refrigerator and a microwave, or we've taken a microwave. We have a little one that we traveled with. So Paolo and she said, should we order some food for the room because we have a refrigerator and a microwave? And I said, sure. So we ordered our food, we kept it in the refrigerator, and then we ate one meal out. You know, and we we saved money doing that because let me tell you, that T-bone steak and eggs I had at the Pancake Pantry, my meal, just me, not Powell's, 
Mine was $38 oh my for gosh. three eggs, steak, and a $4 So that coffee. means if I would have went two, we would have forked out close to 80 bucks. Yeah, just for breakfast. Yeah. Just for two of That's us. That's So nuts. it was really smart of us. And That's then, why I like having the trailer. And a good thing, we took food with us to the airport because there was nothing. You couldn't get anything on the side before you go through. And uh, they were uh, doing work on that airport and they had it split in half and they had no chairs, no sitting area. The area we were sitting in was all there was before you went through the gate. I got a question. Yes. So were you able to take any food with you through the, through the electronic gate? My bacon was the only thing that made it Really? Through. They won't let you even take an unopened can of LaCroix. The good news is... One of the ladies the was asking about that. Yeah, That's nope. why I brought it up. On the, once you get through that, then you can take food from their food court if they're open, coffee, food, whatever, onto the plane once you get past you know, getting your bags oh, you get searched inside. and everything else. Uh, Paula got stopped because she had some... Um, of the mineral drops and stuff from Dr. Uh, uh, Ken, Ken. Bear, or no, from Keto Chow, and they tested them because how yeah, they test them? Yeah, how do they, they test? They test them. them. They have this thing. They check the whole. They thing. have like a bunch of and people I standing had, in line. And... I had real like packets in my backpack, so yeah, they pull us over. They went through, looked at them, and they had this piece of paper they were doing stuff with. Oh, it was paper testing. Yeah. Looking so, for some kind of explosive yeah, something. chemical. Like well, what? that's nice. At least they're not making everybody just throw junk away all the Boy, because I guess they had piles and piles of yeah. stuff. Yeah. So it was interesting because coming back, I had some things in my suitcase um, that I was afraid they were going to uh, confiscate. But they were much better going home than they were coming. I wonder why. So I don't know. And oh, they're going to Arizona. Let them go. Just whatever. I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, did I buy a pair of boots? No. Did I want those red boots until I saw a $1,000 price tag on them? They were lovely, beautiful boots. And I bet you I can yeah, get Yeah, but you know what What she expensive. said to me over the phone? She says, Doctor, I said, how, how, they look really good. I really like them. You said, and she oh, said, I really like I those like red them. boots. Did you and, get them? And Wendy goes, oh, can I go back and get them then? I go, wait a minute. Well, how much were they? She goes, it was silence on the phone for a few seconds, right? Eh, a thousand. thousand. I said, I no, 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 you cannot go back Kala and get them. I thinks they were actually 1,100. I'm thinking 1,000, but anyway, way too many digits, way too many, way too many digits, and they were beautiful, and I'm going to find myself a pair of red cowboy boots soon, but I've got enough cowboy boots including the ones that I wore, which I love, my black ones that you bought me two years ago for Christmas. You know, you have more cowboy boots now than when we had horses. Uh, that's because I was English. I was more English and uh, pleasure driving. Yeah, you had those little different kind English, of shoes. Right, yeah. I wore my hunting boots more. But uh, around we got, the stables, We got a picture of you somewhere. Well, yeah. And around the stables, I wore my uh, pigskin cowboy boots that didn't have any bling or anything on them because I was mucking stalls and you know what that means. Oh, yes, because that horsey, was my main job. Ho Harry's horsey do. I'd turn the horses loose in the pen because we had uh, six horses at the time. Our family each had their horses and we had ours. And uh, so we, whoever would go over there, we'd ride whichever of the ones we wanted to ride that day. And then my one that was uh, young, my young Morgan, I would usually ride Spartacus, our big Appaloosa. I should get some of our horse pictures Yeah, you should get some pictures. And show them. Because I used to pleasure drive. That my one. Morgan uh, named Fancy. Was, who was it that kicked Felicia in the back? Which one was it? That was Megabucks when she was born. Oh, that's right. That was our, our little our, filly. Our little, yeah. We went over there and Felicia was brushing um, Maggie and the baby kicked up and whacked her she right She was back. only like nine then, wasn't she? Felicia? Yeah. yeah. But Megabucks was only a few days old. All right. She was just a dinky-winky baby. Yeah. One of our mares uh, had a baby. So anyway, yeah, we had horses, and uh, I used to show, and then the owner of the stables had Arabs, and I used to show their Arabs, and then they had some horses that I could ride whenever I wanted to. And she had and an Arab, the Arab that almost killed her. Yes. My Arab Gato Baloo almost killed me. But that's another story. That's those are all yeah, horsey. That's a different story. But anyway, I've got several cowboy hats that I never wear anymore. I've got a lot of hats I never wear and I've got my six favorite pair of boots and they're all bling bling because I'm not mucking stalls anymore in them. So and I didn't show Western Halter, I showed English, Saddle Seat, uh, Hunter Jumper, and uh, Pleasure Driving and Roadster is what I did. Yeah, she's so, all decked out. Yeah. So she that's like, what I did. She looks like somebody from England. Yes, 
Thank you, dear. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, you guys, back to, back on track. Now, you guys, I was there for four days, ate and did what I wanted to do, enjoyed the food that was there. Did you show our weight? I'm going to do that okay. right now because I don't have the food that I had yesterday on here. Well, how In my you macros, work? you guys saw everything that we ate yesterday, but here's what I weighed. I weighed in this morning at 181.4. Harry went up to 173.2. I think that's the result of the um, The bad Chipotle, stuff I made. The Chipotle that he talked about, which makes sense, but you guys, it four sticks days, with me for a couple of days. Four days. Tomorrow, uh, might, tomorrow should be, I'm hoping, I sh hopefully should level out. Are you done? No. I don't want to talk over you no, again. No, you don't. <laughs> you guys. You don't want to talk over me. Okay, sure. if that's the case, hey, I got some jokes I want to tell. I flew. I went to a conference. I walked all over. I flew home. Uh, and you guys, I dropped one pound. She actually lost weight. I lost a pound. And I'm going, no way! And she lost did. a pound. Harry went up four tenths, which is not a big deal. You're going to have fluctuations. If you listen to Kim or, or uh, Nisha or anybody up on that panel, that happens. That's daily fluctuations. Right. So Harry didn't do anything different other than have the one thing. I was concerned about the... Um, blue cheese dressing and I knew it was had canola or soy in it but I wanted blue well, cheese dressing it was, was keto it was keto it was the night we went it was the night be before we Saturday left. night or Sunday night, night. night Sunday night then because you came on Monday so yes it was Sunday night and it was at the Rip B's uh, Honky Tonk where that wonderful band was yeah. playing and the fiddlest was she was I phenomenal I wish I could have showed she that she was the phenomenal copyright would have dinged us big yes. time she was phenomenal and we had the wings there so um yes it was absolutely delicious now you guys we made bacon and we both had about six pieces of bacon we've had bacon and sweet coffee so now it's time to break our fast so you guys How the, thinking, when we ate the bacon isn't that when we broke our fast when we ate the yes bacon? it is you're right you're right so Sorry. we're gonna second uh break our second fast. meal Second, second breaking, breakfast. Second breakfast. Yes. No, second breaking of the fast. No, it's second breakfast. Isn't that in the Shire if you're a hobbit? Yes. You have second, second fast. Bre second breakfast. We need to lunch. eat steak. Yes, we yes. do. We need to eat steak. And we need to have some eggs with that. So that is what I'm making. I'm making steak and eggs, you guys. But I had a ball. And I had yesterday I had... Three eggs. I had um, two Southwest wraps. I had a ton of mayo on that and mustard on that. Um, we had uh, the rest of the bacon. I had one and a half slices of bacon and a piece of cheddar jack cheese. For lunch, we had those uh, Tyson Cajun uh, tenders, which are pretty clean. And we had those in an, a Southwestern Egg Life wrap. I had a piece of Jack Cheddar cheese on those. And we had um, LaCroix. And we had coffee. We put heavy cream in everything. I had those chicken wings. I had um, the food at the um, VIP dinner. Um, I ate what I wanted to eat when I wanted to eat it, let me tell you. And I was satisfied and happy. Didn't think once about measuring them. Matter of fact, that T-bone steak was a 10 ounce Man, steak. Man, that was big. And I had three eggs. Are you sure that was only 10 ounces? They said it was 10 ounces. Oh, it I was don't thin. It. Oh, it okay. was thinner. Right. It was thinner. But yeah, and um, I feel great. And I had full of. I was full of energy. And I didn't have any out. It was a little dusty, and I got a little bit nasally but I think it was from uh, the rooms kind of had a little musty moldy very humid in the room humid humid in the room and humid Did you see and then any it mold? Went, no didn't see any but when you when you are in the south and they don't leave the air conditioning on it gets humid in the room and then you get that that's that humidity humidity yeah, smell, smell right. if you know what I'm talking about yeah. it wasn't mold but it was that musty smell yeah. So, and then we were driving in an open air trolley all over, you know, and um, so 
I just had a ball, had a really great time, and learned a lot. So we're going to go into more of that in my October challenge. Yes, we are, but we're not going to start our challenge ahead of time because we both have colonoscopies to get past oh, boy. first. So, oh, yes. Periscope. Yes, indeed. Okay. Come back on the next segment because I'm cooking eggs and steak. piece of little dinky winky bacon on there we got to bring the rest out at least well, the, the top one at the least. top one because i changed them around right how's that look to you the top one i think i think you can bring the top one out and well the bottom one looks pretty good too it is, yep it does i changed them around but yep it looks pretty well, it's good kind of late changing them around take a good look at that I'll take it out of there yeah, I think it's done. Careful with your feet, your bare foot. Like so and remember, use the jar because I want to make uh, bacon. Well, I, I, I want to make stuff in the jar. Did you? Good. Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah. I mean, it felt it really. Oh, ho, ho, yeah. Look at it. Double batch of bacon you right know there. It, now look, there's a lot. Oh, I know. There is There's bacon go. Look at this one. This one really helps. Bacon go. Oh, careful. Don't burn yourself. I'm not going to burn myself. Okay, you guys. I got bacon gold. Yes, indeed. It's bacon time. It's bacon time. Yes, it is. It's bacon time. I'm very excited. You guys, I'm changing this whole kitchen counter thing because it's driving me crazy. I bought a huge container of uh, snap tight lid uh, plastic containers. I've got to get under my cupboard. I can't stand all my coffee here in the corner. It's crazy. Yeah. So I've decided in my head how I want to do it. And that's what I'm going to do sometime today. So, but I'm tired too because we didn't go to bed till like three o'clock. I needed to unwind. We got in. Um, Al and Pella brought me home last night, which was super sweet of them from the airport because I only live about 15 minutes from the airport. And then they drove home. So, and then I wanted to talk with Harry and I wanted to see my video on TV and all the good stuff. So, uh, we didn't get into bed till right before three o'clock, I think. Was yeah. it, Harry? Yeah. So, it's been my normal hours since you've been gone anyway. Yeah. So, anyway, um, we woke up about 10 o'clock this morning, did our uh, morning glucose, which I'm very happy with mine. Yes, because I'm in GKI ketosis. You guys, I had so such I. a ball. And I'm so happy you guys came up and introduced yourselves to me. I just was so excited to meet people. Rick and Janine and everybody. Sorry, I'm trying to make sure I'm doing this and not dripping over it there. That's better. And you guys, I just had a ball. I really did. Now, for those of you who don't know, Paula is uh, Dr. Ken Berry's Kim Halper to me. Kim Halper is my uh, admin. She's the one who handles my Facebook group when we go live. She's going to be my mo main moderator lady. She's going to be wonderful. Um, uh, that is what Paula does for Dr. Berry and Nisha. And um, so she was very busy meeting all the people too, right? she has a facebook group it is real clean keto 
It's awesome. She, Harry will put that down here. Uh, we have a Loving It on Keto Dr. with I'll Wendy. I'll put a link up if you want. Okay. Yeah. Loving It on Keto with Wendy fans is ours. And you guys, both places are a great community, you know. Um, and we'd love to have you guys join us there. I learned and took away a lot from the speakers. I had never heard Nurse Cindy speak before. Great lady, very funny. I love her attitude, uh, her attitude and her conversation on poop. Yes, indeed, on poop. Oh, that ought to be a great to see really, that. Oh, yes. We're, well, and that's another thing Harry and I are doing this morning. I'm watching. Uh, Joe and Rachel did a fabulous job, by the way. And I got to meet two crazy ketos, Joe and Rachel. It was awesome to meet people in person that I have seen. I got to meet the Savages, uh, Crystal and Robert and their baby. That's the brick. Uh, I that's... Went, that's the keto brick. I'm very excited about that. So you guys, I got to meet um, Amy from Carnivore Angel. Yes, I did. So you guys, there was a lot of people and a lot of fun. Really enjoyed it. And I'll tell you, we stayed 100% clean keto. Uh, the only thing I had that wasn't very clean was the blue cheese dressing at the Rippy's Honky Tonk Bar that where we had the most delicious barbecue naked chicken wings and the next day I had great numbers so I wasn't worried about that at all and um, they had the original Frank's hot sauce you know Danger. and I just mixed I mixed it no no not the original the original is fine it's the they buffalo don't put sugar sauce. in there no they don't the buffalo sauce is different than the original Did you Frank's. read it or are you assuming that it doesn't I have read sugar it, it Harry okay all right even Paula because these it. guys are gonna read it I know well you guys go read it let me know was I blind anyway you guys we had a ball I'm gonna let this rest we had a delicious cup of sweet coffee and you guys I have in mind a great October challenge that Harry and I are going to do um, I'm not going to share it yet we have some uh, tests that need to be done, including a colonoscopy. Harry's is on the 26th and mine is on October 5th. So we have some things that we need to do, but October 1st, we're gonna hit it hard and heavy. The month before the November, December holiday madness, um, we're gonna do some things because I need to, I have been on a locked down hard stall um, for a very long time. And maybe this is where my body needed to be. I don't know, but we're gonna go over all those things later. But you guys, it's bacon time. Yes, it is. And I'm gonna go enjoy myself some bacon. Can you see it? Mm-hmm. Oh. Oh, Ooh. Yeah, gonna freaking happen. From the bottom, you can hold it. See it? There it is. All night. Look, you see this three levels from different cookings. This one, you can tell that wild. Different that bacon. That is types. my future bacon butter. Yeah, right there, right. Rhonda Clark style. Nice yes, and, indeed. Look at how nice and clear that is. I mean, it's free, basically. Anyway, there you go. There you have it. So, hey, today we're doing my the last bag, so it's a sad day in the house here, because it's the last bag of Momenta Coffee, and this one is the Honduras Finca Fancy. You can kind of see the handwrite their stuff on there, which I think is really neat. So, anyways, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to have to grind this up, so I'm going to do this real fast. So, my plan right now is to go ahead and basically grind down the Honduras Finca Fancy. The last two coffees we had was a Guatemala Finca, and this, which I think is Wendy's favorite. And it's really mine too, actually. 
and the Brazilian Conquista. I think that's how you say it. But anyways, so what I'm going to do, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, do this right now real quick. And you know, a lot of people don't like to buy beans because they think it's real hard to grind them and it's really not. I mean, you get a little thing like this, it takes no time at all to do this. So just pour a little bit in here. Let me try to pour it about, if I can, about two thirds. I'm in a big hurry. I'll go ahead and do more. So I moved the camera so you can kind of see down inside. You can see how long it takes to do this. And I'm just do it in just sharp things like this. Take it. Because I don't like mine ground into powder. I just don't like that at all. But you can kind of see it now. So yeah, so guys, still has a big chunk of seed in it. Not that big, but you know, big enough. So then what I do is I take it out off of here. So you can see, see it in there. Then I go ahead and I pour it into this dish here. I probably could have did it a little bit more, but that's okay. That's why I like to shake it. Put some more in. So you can kind of see I did it a little bit more this time. I'm going to go ahead and I pour it into the bowl here. Pour the rest in. So it's quite simple to do this. It's not really all that hard. I'll just pour them all in here. Get them all out of the way, right? See what happens when you fill it all up? That's about all I want to do. And then you can see that. And I just dump them into the rest of it if I want to. But really I don't want to do that because what I'm going to do is pour them into the bag. Now, I'm just going to refill the bag back up with with the ground coffee. So I use a 94 cc scoop when I do my coffee. That's pretty much about what I have found for this coffee to be used. I have all different sizes and each one depends on the coffee that I'm using. Or some people like weaker coffee so I wouldn't use this so I was making it for other people. Right in. This is a like a drip coffee this way. And I, this is one of my favorite ways of making coffee quick and easy. Then I just take the hot water, start pouring her in. So I pour it around the edges. It pushes the coffee down and to mix into the water again. And you don't want to overfill. It will self-level and stop. basically stopping there pull this out you got enough then I'll usually set this into a cup while it finishes draining it's just a matter of picking it up pouring it into cup oh yeah that's good too. This is the first time I've had this this kind of coffee. And this is really good. This is the uh, Honduras Fica Fancy. I like this one. Um, you guys can get this from Memento Coffee. I have a link down below where you can go online and order your own. And um, 
We're not, we're not uh, associated with them in any way, shape, or form. I just like their coffee, you know. So when you know, I just really like their coffee. So and, uh, and it's a good coffee. It's really good, it's, and you can make it as strong or as weak as you want, right? Uh, and don't be afraid to grind. Uh, it's really simple. It's a very simple process. Plus, you get fresher coffee that way because if you keep them in bean form, and then you're gonna, then you go ahead and you. Uh, crunch them up before you're going to drink it or you know you have a couple of days worth there and you get really well tasting coffee so if you guys can go check it go check out memento and uh at least go look at them see if it's something you want to try out because i really like the coffee and so does wendy and i think she'll really like this one too you want a cup yeah okay Gotta go, because I gotta make a wife a cup of coffee. See you guys later. Guys, I broke an egg and I had to throw it in here. It worked though. I dropped a, a, the, the little light up above right down on the egg. Oh, is that what it landed on? Yes. So I got, I had a fatality. Oh my gosh. So I got egg white everywhere. Excuse me, excuse me. Oh, there, now that butter's browning. Come on, little baby. There you go. Because, oh, dude, you're spitting at me. Well, excuse me. Here, wait a minute. <laughs> I can't even turn it's it so because slick. it's so slippery. Yeah. Okay, I gotta turn this everything down. Let me get this one out. Because I right, saved the egg. Look at that. Look at the brown butter, you guys. I know. Look at that. Isn't that nice. Look at that. Oh, and it right smells there. heavenly. So good. Now we get our eggs. these eggs baste in their own steam and butter in their own juices brown butter is the way to go I'm telling you guys brown butter I keep, I've been preaching brown butter forever oh I, I saw that mosquito where'd it go yeah he was buzzing around my head a minute oh, ago man, where'd it go where'd it go I like the other kitten in the house well it's because we open the door you go out with Sally you guard her with your life and I think you don't close the door all the way. The mosquitoes are coming. Only in. dog I know that has somebody bigger than her standing over here with a Guarding baseball her bat. So she can lay down without her sun. little spiked coyote jacket on so she can get some sunshine every day. She loves laying down. So Harry sits in the shade, Sally sits in the sun and sun baths, and Harry's got a little baseball bat ready to whack. There Did you get it? No, I'm not. Oh, you're not. I know. I know. I'm not Karate Kid. Yeah. Or Mr. Miyagi. Uh, I just heated our steaks up just enough. Yeah. So I want, I don't, what kind of sauce can we put on them that doesn't have Butter. a bad kind of sauce? Butter's perfect, actually. That's what I should have did the other day was butter. Butter would have been the best way to go. You know? Well, if you want butter. Yes, I do. Because butter is better. Butter's butter. Butter makes my fat fall off. Yes, it does. Butter, ba butter makes your pants fall off. Butter Bob Briggs. Yeah, remember say. him? Wonderful person. Now, what was his name? It was Butter, butter Bob. Bob Briggs. No, you're thinking of the gosh darn guy that did the host of the Midnight Show. Was that was that was Bob Bobby Briggs? Here comes the food. Oh yeah, mm. lots. Just give him something to talk about right there. Mm -hmm. You can be able to get it on a plate. Doesn't want to let go. I know what I'm saying. Here, excuse me. Just 
lay it on there anywhere, you know. As long as you get it on there. Well, I like making it look pretty because you eat with your eyes sometimes, so it's nice. Yeah, but it burns my eyelids when I do Let's that. See, I'm gonna give you this one, so you get four, and I get three. Look at these pans, you guys. I'm telling you. Man, I don't know if I can eat all that, Wendy. Well. That's a lot. That's our one meal besides oh, the meal bacon. Over. So today's an old two man? Meal. No, or? we've had two meals. We had six pieces of bacon. Oh, that's right. We had bacon. We had bacon. We had bacon. Yes, we did. I'm going to move this off the burner somehow. Here. Harry, honey, you're going to have to move because I can't. I'll put this right here. That's fine. Anyway, you guys. This is what we are having. Make sure I don't whack the thing anymore, you guys. Look at this. Look at this. Steak and eggs. Yes, indeed. Oh, man. Harry saved the steak for me with butter all over. Wasn't well, that yes, nice indeed. of me? I was just, I'm just such a great guy. Anyway, you guys, gotta eat now. Hey, everyone. What you hear is the dishwasher. We put everything in. Harry was a good boy. I cleaned the top of the stove. He put the dishes in the dishwasher. We are going to call it a night. I'll tell you, that steak was absolutely delicious. The browned butter and the eggs were fabulous. My bacon was heavenly, and I'm very, very, very satiated. It is almost 5.30. We'll come back at 8.30 and do our test for the night, and we will insert that here. Okay, you guys, this is the last one of the evening. Yes, it is. I got busy cleaning my counters, moving my dog food and my coffee stuff for Harry. Yes, indeed, I am. Uh, I was fine. I'm not fine. What do you mean you're fine? It's fine. You don't have enough room for the coffee you've got. Well, I need more coffee. Obviously. Yeah, you need more coffee containers and a bigger, longer... Where is it? How come there's a gray thing on the screen? Does that show? No, that's... 1.1! Whoop whoop! Yahoo! Mountain Dew! I'm excited. Let's see what my glucose says. If I can even get anything out of this. Nah, I'm not going to waste it. 102. Oh man. I've been working hard. 102. What? 1.2, right? I'll go get my phone. Where's your phone? I don't know. Where's your phone? Probably where I'm sitting. Point eight, highest one of the week. My little finger really bleeds. It's like hurting. You know, but I can't use the same spot every day. I know. I get it. What was it? Point, point eight. Oh. And an eighty-nine. That's weird. Because of all the fat you had, all the good yeah. oh, stuff. Excuse me, excuse me. Stuff you had. Man, I'm talking like a cowgirl. <laughs> I am at a moderate level of GKI ketosis 5.1. Honey, I can't see the screen. Thank you. What? Are you no, jealous? You should be jealous. I am jealous. <laughs> 5.1. There it is. Ooh, you're a 6.1. You are in a low level of ketosis, Harry. Yeah, what well, do you know, huh? I'm excited for you. Yeah. Look, 6.1, yeah. that's good. Uh -huh. Okay, everybody, that's it for the evening. See you guys tomorrow on the blood glucose trail. Yes, indeed. Anyway, you guys, please remember to like, subscribe, ring that little bell, give us a thumbs up. We'll see you right here tomorrow, and Sally is saying goodnight. What are you trying to tell us? That there's eggshells on the floor yeah. right there. There is where? Right next door. Oh.